Hey there everybody, Arlo's here from Ice Games, bring you episode 119 of my Guild Wars 2 a Necromancer Let's Play with Kivina here. I switched weapons here, I didn't want to do that. Um, but uh, here we are in the middle of Prisoners of the Dragon. Uh, we, well I'm at the part where I just killed uh, that one Mordremoth boss. Uh, that was like getting healed by those little blooms. I just have to jump over here and uh, do a little bit more um, killing some enemies and rescuing some uh, some of our allies from cages before we kind of get to where we were in the episode. I just wanted to kind of stop here to start the recording because I figured this was a, a nice decent spot. Uh, but I wanted to kind of thank you guys for letting me know uh, a couple things, a lot of things from the last episode. So I want to thank everyone that left some comments. So I had a list here that said, uh, if you need help with the luminescent armor achievement hunt uh, uh, in the European region, uh, you can help me. I'm not so sure what region I play in. I am playing in the EU server right now. Uh, actually, Fissure of Woe is a server I've been playing on. Um, so yeah, if anyone in the EU wants to join in, uh, I'm always uh, planning on playing on Saturdays at noon Pacific Standard Time. Uh, I know it's uh, a lot of a different uh, time from you guys, but uh, I happen to be Pacific Standard Time on the uh, west, west coast of, uh, of North America. And uh, I know a lot of you guys are in Europe, so it's a little bit of a different time difference. But uh, hopefully I can get, uh, get some playtime in with you guys. That could be kind of fun. Um, so yeah, Fissure of Woe, uh, for sure, noon Pacific Standard Time on Saturdays. I'm definitely trying to trying to find a, another couple of days to do some, some playing with you guys too. Uh, so thank you for that, Alyss. So Afana Gamer said, uh, at uh, 8.55 I did land on a tree limb, which is kind of cool. So I didn't realize that I could land on some of those those tree limbs. You even mentioned that uh, um, you can land on any tree limb tree limb if you're careful and there's quite a few hidden under leaves so i'll have to definitely uh do some exploring and stuff like that especially especially with if i if i eventually get that new mount uh if you got don't know if you guys saw but uh uh, uh arena net put out a little video showing that there is a new dragon mount coming with i believe um it's uh episode six of the new season that's coming out pretty soon so let me know what you guys think about the new the new dragon mount it looks kind of cool you also mentioned uh, that I can open the airship cargo. Uh, all I have to do is fly by them, and it should auto-open, which is kind of cool. And you also mentioned that I forgot to check the achievements before the story, but I did manage to get one. I landed in the circle, uh, so I did get that for stick the landing. And I just wanted to show that I did I did check them this time. Um, uh, the one for here is Art for Artful, uh, Artful Dodger. So when ascending the narrow path of Plateau, uh, destroy all the Mordrum tendrils without being hit with their poison area attacks. I tried doing that and didn't do it so well. I figured out a decent strategy, I think, for when I go through with my ranger, so I should hopefully be able to get it then. Uh, and then that's all the achievements for this um, for this story, and I believe there's some for the next one. Um, so locate the five missing Itzel totems. Uh, choose to attack the Mordrum at the stating area. Uh, um... And set up to defend the Mushroom King. So it looks like you still kind of have to do it. Jungle provides, jungle provides, jungle provides. Is that? Did I already do the jungle provides? I think I already did the jungle provides. Yeah, I think I did the jungle provides already. So when I go through it again, I'll make sure I, I do that. I'll see you get some mastery. So I'll get some uh, Heart of Thorns mastery for doing that. Oh, gosh, I can't wait to get some more. Uh, so thank you again for that, Aphonic. i got to make sure I do go through and uh, and do that. Um, so thank you. Uh, Miguel, you mentioned that um, I should have entered the mission as soon as it kicked me out because it might have taken me to the, che uh, the checkpoint I was at. Apologize for that. Um, hopefully it never happens again, but if it does happen again, I'll hop back in and uh, maybe I'll take me to the checkpoint I need to. Uh, that would be awesome. <laughs> and uh, to answer the question, Glint is indeed one of the legends of the Revenant. Uh, it's the Herald Elite, so the first Elite specialization, uh, which is kind of cool. So definitely want to unlock that. Although I'm doing the Renegade right now, I think, with my Char Revenant. Got to go through and grab some more hero points. That should be awesome. Um, so yeah, thank you for that. And uh, mentioning that, no, Fowlin, uh, your Nightmare Court doesn't seek free freedom. Uh, Kandrin's did. Um, so apparently, uh, Fowlin, I'm not sure what her exact deal is with the, in the Nightmare Court. I don't know what's going on with them. I thought they wanted freedom. I don't know. They just wanted to get away from the Pale Tree. Maybe they were already being uh, seduced by the dragon to begin with. I don't know what's going on with them. Savari, you are a confusing, confusing race. That's for sure. Not just like uh, the humans. They have like um, the white something. They're... Yeah, they just have like uh, a faction that's fighting against them. Same as a char, have the uh, the fire 
uh, guys that are just fighting against them. So it's kind of an inquest. So I mean, that's kind of kind of interesting. Where everyone's kind of got like kind of makes a little bit more sense. So Zavari is a little bit more intricate, which is kind of cool, but uh, interesting. Uh, you also mentioned that the Caustic, uh, they're not evil. They just got to, they just got to the fear and hate outsiders after recent attacks they suffered. Uh, Mordrum Guard, for example, so the Mordrum attacking them, which makes them hostile, which kind of sucks because they could be good allies if they weren't so so um, uh, afraid of outsiders. It's, it's, I wish I wish we could turn them and, and tell them that we want to fight with them. Uh, you also again mentioned that you can fly by the, the cargoes, which is awesome. And uh, thanks again for a great video. You're welcome. Love making these videos. Hopefully you guys are having fun with them. Uh, so Mr. Hero, uh, you mentioned that the cities don't have events except for when there's a holiday. That's what I meant. I meant different events for holiday. I think I said just events. Uh, I should have mentioned uh, holiday. Um, so as I know, uh, Divinity's Reach, Radisson has one. I kind of wish that, or when you mentioned that Lion's Arch had one during a big event during season one, I would love, love to play through that event. I think that'd be kind of fun if they could somehow bring that back. But who knows? Um, but I kind of wish that um, all the other, like the gl the Glade, uh, the Black Citadel, and Holbrek had their own seasonal events. So that'd be kind of interesting. Be, maybe make the, the winter event instead of having it in Divinity's Reach. Have it in Holbrek because it's a winter city. Uh, maybe a spring event or something like that in in the Grove or whatnot. But uh, they kind of put everything to Divinity's Reach. I guess it's kind of the bigger city. But uh, I kind of wish, kind of wish the other cities had their their time to shine too. But uh, again, thank you, Mister Hero. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you, Alphonic, and thank you, Liz, for all your awesome comments. Again, guys, keep them coming. I love hearing from you guys. But let's continue on with this episode. So let us jump through here. Um, you guys mentioned that I did get the achievement for landing in the circle, which I wasn't even trying for. I'm just like glowing circle. That must that must mean it's something I need to land in, right? Blop. Nice work, Kaz. Thanks, boss. Though, I'm not sure everyone would agree. Canuck's looking greener than usual. I'm fine. You try falling from portal to portal while an elder dragon buzzes in your skull. See how green you get. This is where they keep the live prisoners. Whoever we're looking for is somewhere nearby. We'll get you out of here, Mom. I swear it. Oh, Bram really wants to save Air, and so do I. So let's get in here. Let's try to save Air and everybody else. Take out some of these Mordrum Guard. Guard Punishers. Let's deal with you guys. Come on. Take them down. Yeah, no, I'm really excited to get the Path of Fire to get some mounts and stuff like that. I know I've still got lots of Heart of Thorns to get to, and I think another season in between, too. But uh, definitely, definitely. Oh my gosh, I should have dodged that. Uh, I'm definitely really excited to get into that. Uh, I am going to still go for the uh, the War Claw mount. That's for sure. So hopefully I can uh, get that soon enough. Uh, take out this Mordrum cell. Take out the cell. Come on, my flesh golem. That's what you're actually called, buddy. Flesh golem. Yeah, yeah, flesh golem. I don't know. I second guess myself there for a second. A big heal in here. Time to do some real damage. Little blade dancer guys. Whoop. Oh, I thought that was a uh, line for a second, but it's just. All oh, right, sorry. I thought it was like a, a whole area to attack. That's okay. Let that marksman go. I'm really good at disappearing. Oh my gosh. Stop disappearing on me. Have to hit much Snipers are crazy. Oh boy. Whoop, get out of that. Whoop, get out of that one. <laughs> Let's hop into that. Let's steal their light force while I can. It is super, super awesome to have your allies fighting with you. Um, I was kind of like when I was do doing the first part of this mission again. I was kind of slacking a little bit where I'd go in, trigger the fight, and kind of fall back. And uh, your allies do a pretty good job of, of doing damage. Even with the um, the boss there, I kind of triggered it, held all the grenades, kind of waiting for the little blooms to show up to start healing it, and kind of let them do all the damage until it needed healing. Uh, and it kind of worked out pretty well. So uh, it's Commander, not like some wait. games your allies don't this do any damage. Shall I kill it? <laughs> I don't want trouble. I just want to get out of here. Prove it. Start running and don't stop until you hit dry top. Move. 
<laughs> I love that. Um, but yeah, no, I noticed that they, the, your allies do a lot of damage, which uh, unlike a, a lot of games don't do that, so I, I'm really, really happy with that. Head back here. Got a sniper here. There you go, ear down. My master will claim you all. No, he won't. No, he won't. Well, at least not me, at least. Unless, unless he can somehow turn dead regular people, I mean humans and Norn and Char into those Mordrum, but I think it's just turning Silvari. Thanks, Commander. Be advised, the Mordrum commandeered a lot of our weaponry and supplies when they took us. On it. Now get yourself to safety, soldier. Okay, get yourself to safety. It started out as a corpse, and now it's a corpse again. Oh. I'm really sad when I lose my corpse. Commander, I'm ready for action. Where do you want me? We've got things covered here. If you want to get back into action, find Larenthir and follow his lead. Move out. Yeah, get the Larenthir. He'll help you out. And this one, that one's empty. All right, we got a terror gift Griff here. These things are so cool. And I think I don't know why, but I totally just got their name. So they're Terra from of the Earth and Griff, kind of like a Griffin, without wings. That's kind of cool. I don't know why that took me so long to try to figure out. They would be a really cool pet or a really cool looking mount. Oh, that would be an awesome looking mount to have. Anyone in this one? I don't think there's anyone in this one. It all happened oh, there so was. fast. They hit us with some sort of poison gas. I woke up here. You're free now. Get clear of this place as fast as you can. There we go. Get out of here. Let's open this one up. I, don't think, I think this one's empty. That was the last one. And still no sign of our people. Ritlock, are you still feeling that feeling? Affirmative. And it's even stronger here. They're close. Just beyond those vine walls. What are we waiting for? Tribune, put your new magic to work and clear us a path. Please! Come on, Ritlock. Use your awesome magic. Does Ritlock ever change stances? Because that'd be kind of cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, a rescue party. Then Wolf did hear me. In here, they're starving us. No food or water for days. That's because Mordromov doesn't care if we're alive or dead when it plugs us into a blighting tree. Release us! Now! Foul. Why is Mordromov locking up so many nightmare courtiers? You know nothing of the court. We seek freedom. And Mordermoth's yoke is even more onerous than the Pale Trees. Forget her. Just get me out. The Mordrum took Logan and Soja and Traherne deeper in the jungle, and I don't know why. Hang on, Mother. We're about to bust you out of there. All right, let's free air from her prison. Hopefully. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> it didn't mess up this time. All right. Time to do some real damage. Yeah, I wonder how Mortemoth got the... Oh, maybe... What? Air! Head to the overpass! We can cut it off there! Have to keep moving. I like my chances better this way.
This way. Hurry. What just happened? I I I don't I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. Uh 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 um Please tell me she's not actually gone. Oh man. I, okay, so let me just let me just breathe this in for a second. Okay, so Fallon being her evil crazy self. Oh my gosh, there's air right there. Oh we gotta we gotta take out this this Mordrum vine tooth here. Oh my gosh. What I'm I'm actually quite Oh gosh, I'm I'm oh, what's going on? I don't, I don't know what to think. Come on, come on. We can't. We can't lose air. She's she's super awesome and important. Although honestly, if we do lose air, like that that to me means that no one's actually safe. Oh my gosh, this thing is annoying as heck. This, we got this, we got this. Let's take this thing, silly thing out. And we got cut out of the way that time. Oh, it cures you a little bit more. Okay, not good, not good. Oh, there it goes down. Spirits! Bram. I... I'm sorry. Me too, kid. At least she took Fallon with her. And Fallon died screaming like the coward she was. I need time. There are rituals to perform. They're gone. Spirits. I don't even know if he was with her during the crash. And her bow. If it's in that camp, I want it. My mom and I never... We didn't have... Just let me say goodbye to her. Alone. Just go. I'll catch up. I swear to you, I'm not going to die out here. Not until I see Mordramoth fall. Take whatever time you need. Catch up as soon as you can. I... I am actually shook. Oh my gosh, I did not... I did not imagine that happening. Oh, air... You were actually one of my favorites. Oh. <sighs> Leave Bram and head deeper into the jungle. Okay, we gotta head this way deeper into the jungle. Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. Oh. Oh man. Listen up. I need a volunteer to stay behind. Bram will get his time, but he needs someone to watch his back. I was already planning to, Commander. Bram and I have been through too much for me to just leave him like this. Go on ahead. I'll make sure we find you. After Bram makes his peace with air. Thanks, Rox. Everyone else, move out. The rest of our friends are still out there. And the Egg. And Mordramoth. Oh my gosh, that just that changes the game quite a bit. Oh man, I did not. Cause I mean, if if Air can die, I mean, what of what of Logan? What of what of Zoja? What of well, I mean, we got we got Ritlock here. What what of everybody else from Divinity's Re? Oh my gosh. All right. Oh boy. Okay, so let's uh, exit. We're gonna brink. What if Jahern? What if Jahern turns to the dragon? Oh my gosh, I never even thought about that. What if Jahern actually turns? Oh gosh. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, whoever you are. <laughs> Boo is good. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, that is an awesome name for what you just you just startled me quite a bit right there. Oh my gosh. Oh. Um, let's um heal ourselves quickly here. You'll be feeling that way. Uh, let's repair the armor. 
Um, it looks like there is a hero point right here. So let's see if I can jump to that one quickly. Uh, jungle spider here. Just, I just, ugh, I just don't know how to take that. I think the only, ooh, black lion chest. Uh, the only character I know that won't die is, is me, essentially. Been like so early into, uh, in the Heart of Thorns too. Oh my gosh. We need to rescue the noble, but we have to find them first. Okay, is this one a combat one or is it a... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I think someone else is here. Oh, a couple of people are here, so let's inspect this. So, looks like Itzel are trying to claim this spot is theirs. I don't think so. All right, it's a combat one. Another easy time. Well, we got some friends here, so it's okay. We're gonna take out the blade dancer and some regular Itzel. I guess not regular. They're the uh, the other ones. Um, we'll do that later. Also, that, that 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 creature thing that we fought there was insane. Oh my gosh, guys! Where'd it go? Where's that, where'd that creature go? I, that definitely didn't feel like a one-off. I think we're gonna be fighting more of those later on. You would be really hard to fight on your own. There it is. Look at that. A, a Revenant using their ability, abilities properly. Look at that. Something I can definitely learn from. There we go. Is it down yet? Nope, not yet. I feel good. There we go. We get some 10 hero points for that. Uh, we also got recovered pale reaver chess, a bunch of experience, and some airship parts. I like that. All right. Um, let's head back the way we were. Oh. What does that, what does that symbol mean? Reward earned? Okay. It's just, it's got like a, the infinity thing behind it, beside it. Does that mean you can earn it again? I don't think so. That would be weird. Did I actually get hero points from that? Time to do some here. Spiders here. Uh, let's go here. Oh, I did. So I got 19 now. I can keep going down the scourge path if I wanted to. Or do you guys think I should switch to the Reaper path? Let me know what you guys think. Again, do you think I should switch to the Reaper or keep going with the Scourge? Let me know down below. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so... <sighs> Let's take a quick look to see what we got, though. Um, let's deposit all materials. Uh, put you down here. Bloop. Or here, wherever I want to put it. Um, let's... Uh... Oh, I'm surprised it gave me this fine mace. I thought that would have been... Uh, an identified gear thing. Let's uh, preview it. This is a skin I don't have, so let's unlock the skin, actually. Unlock skin. Skin unlocked, and you should get rid of it. Open up a couple of these. Oh, shiny. Ooh. Some p three pieces of rare identified gear. Unidentified gear. Good. All right, let's talk with the War Master here. Commander, not sure if this is important, but I just saw your comrades, the Norn and the Char, carrying a body. I'm sorry to report that was Erstegalkin. She fell in combat with one of the new Mordrum. Oh, guys. My condolences. She was an inspiration to a lot of us. And she'll be missed. Not just missed. She'll be avenged. Mordromoth will pay for all the lives it's destroyed. I'll spread the word. Air will be remembered. I promise you. Thank you. 
I'm pressing on to find Traherne and the rest of Destiny's Edge before Mordremoth claims them too. All right, let's see what we get for this. Oh my gosh. Even that music. Uh, uh I'm so I'm so angry for some reason. Like I it actually like uh, I miss air already. Um so we get this kind of backpack. This looking backpack. Or this ooh. Kinda like that that ball the way that looks. You know what? I'm gonna grab this one. This initiates pack, recruits pack, or novices pack. I'm gonna grab this initiates pack. That looks really cool. Wait, oh, although that would be would this be um um from the oh what am I thinking of? Uh Whispers Priory and uh, Vigil? Well, that doesn't look very vigilish. That one looks kind of cool too. Ah, it's so many decisions. Um, you know what? I'm gonna grab. Oh, it does have a little glowing effect on the eye. I'm gonna grab the ball one. The ball one looks cool. So let's uh, accept that. We also get some bags of verdant brink supplies, nauseous seed pouches, some ba bottles of airship oil, and a writ of Manguba mastery. I'm okay with that. So let's accept. What to that. do now? All right, got ourselves a mastery point. Uh, agents pack collection. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. That definitely looks good. It feels like I do got to go through three different characters. Prisoner Dragon completed. Uh, Agents pack. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's um, look at our mastery point here. Um, Enter Eric Basin is the new area. Oh, we're going to a new area here. Okay. Well, before we do that, let's um, deposit those materials. Open up this noxious sea pouch. Deposit that. those up deposit all those materials oh, that looks like it's a bunch of trophies we do have a salvage item though bloop and identified die sea frost die Ooh. that is very bright that is very bright but i like it um we also need to pick see what we get for here um carrying the one i like condition damage what do i have right now 19 that's 26 condition damage plus oh plus it's more because i have an item and a, a thing in it um, Rabid? 26. I think Carrion's 26. Vitality power. What else does Rabid do? Toughness precision. No, let's go with uh, Carrion. Let's accept that. And you know what? Let's equip it anyways. You're going to get a little bit less, um, a little bit less, but that's okay. Uh, let's actually hit the H button here for a second. Go to equipment. Not minis. Equipment. Uh, let's show our backpack. Can I color my backpack oh i can't actually put a die in my backpack oh now i might have to go through and change the color of my my character well i'm gonna i'm gonna hide it for now um which means i am gonna equip this backpack for now and i might equip the other one later on but let's continue on with a little mission here and enter the new area Ooh. Like there's some like uh, temples or something like that in the background there. Still more Dramoth Vines forever. You've unlocked a new mastery track, Exalted Lore. Let's take a quick look at that. Let's see. Mastery. Um, exalted Lore. Uh, oh. Oh, you guys were mentioning before that it does. It'll pop up saying if it's got a requirement, I think. So requirements, so this is story required. And none of these ones are story required. Exalted Lord, this is this is story required. Okay. And I can't see the other ones yet. So we'll at least have this one and then Exalted Lore that I need to learn. Okay. And then probably one from those other ones too. That's cool. Let's continue on with our little adventure. What? There's so many new things on this map. What is that? Exalted Portal to Mushroom Challenge. Exalted Portal to Auction Challenge. Enchanted Armors. There is so much going on. <laughs> so much going on. I love it. Hey, Tropical Bird. Take that, Tropical Bird. 
Priory Explorer here. More Priory Explorers. Sira, how are the injured looking? I won't sugarcoat it. Not great. We're in no shape to join the others. Oh, thank the gods. It's the commander. So tired. Commander, this way. All right, I got to talk with you. You're not alone. Think of your family and friends back home. Like, can I? Oh, I'm like, I'm not my ranger. I can't try to steal it. Um, let's. Let's talk with the scout here first. This is home to the exalted. Souls bound to armor who live in Tarir, the Forgotten City, which lies within a grand cenote constructed of gold. There, the Exalted await something they call Glint's Legacy. And beyond the walls, their outposts stand watch, defending the city from the ever-advancing Mordrum. Wait, so the Exalted are kind of like a race of their own? That's interesting. Uh, so complete challenges to select champions for enchanted armor and prepare to take back Tar. All right. Interesting. Let's see what kind of stuff what, we can buy what? from you guys. What? Vision tokens. Okay. It's not looking good, but don't um, the same bloodbound stuff. It's okay. Uh, well, let's sell junk though. That's interesting. Okay, so let's see what you have. Commander, I'm glad you're here. Uh, what's the situation? I believe I found something interesting, but to be sure, I must have Erlium to study. Uh, can you find some for me? Uh, it's unclear whether it is naturally occurring, uh, but it can be found all over the area. Bring me what you can exchange. I'll exchange it for these keys. Keys? These keys seem to be made from the compound. Uh, they've got to open something. Show me your wares. All right, so if I bring them this lump of uh, this Erlium, I can get keys. Takes effect on these. Uh, used to open ch exalted chest. Chest can contain armor, weapon. Oh, okay, so it's like the other thing. Okay, past rations. Okay, cool. Good, 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 good. Got ourselves a waypoint here. Um, don't need to get repaired right now. Hello. You are, are huge and frog-like. His memory is what keeps me fighting. Wish I'd met him. He must have been a great Asura. He was. But we have survivors to tend to. All right, let's talk to Lieutenant here. Lieutenant Francis, are you in charge here? No, Commander. Found these Priory folks on my way out of the wreckage. Sierra and Piera are calling the shots here. We are what's left of a Priory-led ship that crashed nearby. Most of our people have already headed east. I overheard. We're helping those that couldn't Sorry get on about feet. Tom. Siri oh, here I found me half dead under a tree. Patched me up here. good as new. Over my life. I'm a combat medic. It's my job to keep people alive on the battlefield. The other Priory members. You said they headed east? That's right. Spotted some ancient-looking golden structures and, well, you know us Priory folk and old shiny things. They started <laughs> lighting up just now. Right after some Silvari woman with a backpack ran through. Wait, a Silvari with a backpack? What direction was she headed in? East, like the rest. You know this Silvari? It's a long story. Uh oh. Um, so follow up with the information that is, uh, oh, hey, dragon. Um, that has led you here. So enter the basin and check in with your allies. Where are you? Commander, this way. Oh, I gotta go this way. Okay. Um, yeah, let's start heading that way. There's also a hero point over here. I'm here. You're not alone. Um, also, let me know if you guys think I should start doing some exploring and stuff first. Or, or, or whatnot. Or if I just continue on with the story here. Um, I did some exploring with my ranger. It was actually quite a bit of fun. Oh, Fallen Prairie Explorer. What's this? May Duena bless you. Oh, what's this? Uh, treetop Retriever. Locate ten lost priory corpses in a tarnished treetop of Oric Basin. Oh! Oh, boy. This... And they give you little riddles on how to get there. Of course. All that for... Oh, is it one point each? Oh, it's not too bad. So ten points. I can, I can live with that. What else is there going on here? Um, 
Search for, oh, different skyboxes for the different ships. Okay, fungus and minus. Bounce your way through the checkpoints and across the finish line. Oh, okay. Uh, that must be for one of the things. Oh, oh my gosh, so many, so many. I want, I want all the achievement points. Definitely something I'll be going through. Bouncing mushroom. Unlock bouncing mushrooms. Boing. Oh, I have to go down? Far down, I have to go. I've got a bouncing mushroom here. Let's, let's head on this bouncing mushroom for a second. Brought me up here. Ooh. Sparkfly. Sorry, Mr. Sparkfly. Oh, I love these. Oh, another Frollin Priory researcher. All part of the eternal alchemy. Oh. Thank you for the achievement point. Those ones don't feel as good to get. Oh. Oh, they have cavaliers? What? That's crazy. Is this like there? Oh, I think this is their, um, their land. Possibly. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get to. Tell me it's down. Down there? Passed over it. Oh, here it is. Young Mushroom Hero Challenge. What is this? These much oh three these mushrooms are young and, and vulnerable. That's odd that they're defenseless and in the open. Uh-oh. Um let's summon my buddy. I'm gonna try to do this on my own. Poke the mushroom. Championship Mushroom King! Oh, these guys look so cool! Or Champion Mushroom King. Oh, I love how it actually looks like he's got a crown on. That's kind of cool. Oh boy, we only have 10 minutes to do this too? Oh my gosh, you're kicking my butt. I was not prepared for this. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to need you guys' help when I want to do these. Try to take this guy on. He already killed my little buddy. Let's do some healing myself. Oh, nope. Fight to survive. Nope. <laughs> Definitely need some help with these guys. Or at least uh, be a little bit better prepared for it. That looks cool, though. I do like the look of it. It looks super awesome. I could use a hand over here. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. The Necromancer is going to survive for quite a while. Let's return to Waypoint. I only have the one Waypoint. Did I, was there no? Oh, there it is. Yes. We have protected Tarir for over a century. It will not fall this day. Who said that? Commander, this way. Okay, Commander, that way. Okay. Repair armor quickly. And then let's head this way. You know, there's probably some really cool meta event stuff. But I think I might end up heading back to the last area to get uh, to get more of the meta events that we did down there. I don't really do a lot of those. Still taking out some tiny creatures. God, I like the music, though. Oh boy, so many spark flies. Alright, oh, so it is something I have to, I have to jump into. Um, so actually, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. So let me know, um, let me know what you guys think of that. Oh my gosh, I, oh, there's so many things that I need to, need to, to learn about this, this game. But oh my gosh, that was just so, that was just so heartbreaking. That, that is something that's gonna affect me for a while. The, uh, the air the air thing because i was not not expecting that at all oh boy i was not ready for that but it also kind of gets me a little excited because a lot of these games you know uh the main characters just don't don't ever die so now now that we know one did um it kind of means no one's safe 
And we have a whole lot of allies right now uh, between what's rest of uh, what's left of Destiny's Edge to the new group of people with Traherne to everybody else. Like it, everyone's fair game now. So I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what they what they got planned uh, for that. But uh, I just want to thank you guys again so much for everything. You guys are simply amazing. Again, if you guys want to play some uh, Guild Wars with me, I'll be on on Saturday uh, about noon Pacific Standard Time. Uh, maybe we can do some Super Adventure Box Festival. Maybe come and do some of the uh, the side missions and the meta events and some of the, the new maps or something like that. But uh, I just want to thank you guys so much again for everything. You guys have been super amazing and awesome. Hopefully I can see you guys in-game. And uh, until then, keep your stick on the ice. <laughs>